it's the end of an era. It is the last day of wet work in the B-Bell lab at St. Mary's and it is the beginning of a new era in a couple months when I start at LMU. And so I went ahead and asked Haley and Nicholas what some of the highlights were and get them to think of all those happy times before it gets time to clean out the lab. So well, Haley, what was your favorite thing that you did in the B-Bell lab? I would like to say I would like to say two of my favorite things. One, oh was, man, two. Uh, it's hard to choose. We've okay, done a lot okay, of experiments. Okay, I'll and forgive you. <laughs> the AES was a lot of fun. That's Not AES. Out. The atomic emission spectroscopy, and I thought that was really cool to see the total amount of chromium in our samples, and also compare it to our results of getting just the the from the DPC assay and comparing those results to see how much chromium six was reduced, and then. I'm also really enjoying the FTIR. I think it's really cool to see the peaks and we also don't know a lot yet. So just getting some results, which we didn't know what we were gonna get at the beginning is really fun to see that our methods are working and uh, comparing methods is also really fun. So I would say those are my two favorites from this uh, journey on, in the Vivo lab. Fabulous. How about you, Nicholas? Um, I really grew to like the thermal shift assay using uh, differential scanning fluorimetry. Um, I've worked on it a lot and I was able to really understand and interpret the data and got us a lot of really cool results. Differential scanning fluorimetry and what it does is it um, basically allows you to observe the protein stability based on the increase in temperature. And um, we were able to vary other, um, we were able to use different variables like varying pHs in the buffer as well as varying concentrations of ionic strength. Um, and that told us a lot about the protein and it really just helped us characterize it a lot. Exactly, so what, what about the temperature does it tell us? Like, what are we looking for? Yeah, so it basically tells us the melting temperature and the point at which the protein starts to unfold and reveal some of the um, hydrophobic um, parts of the, of the inner workings of the protein. Um, and that allows the tagged dye to reveal itself in the fluorimetry. Absolutely, because I remember that that uh, fluorescent dye is only going to bind to this hydrophobic stuff, and normally that should be like hidden in your protein. But you heat a protein up enough, the bonds that are holding the protein together in that nice 3D shape, they, eh, they can't hold it anymore. And so it unfolds, the dye binds and fluoresces and then that is then detected on the detector. And so Nicholas yeah. has really become an expert in that and he's doing awesome with it and rocking all that little pipetting. But um, in order to get to there, um, we did have to recombinantly express our protein and purify it. And that was one of my favorite processes in the B-Bell lab, um, just cause we used it the whole time we were here and we have tons of it and it's very pure, so pretty crazy so that protein that we purified like nicholas purified it over the summer and we have so much of it it could last us like a lifetime so much that we have like all of it in little aliquots in pcr strips and i still have a ton a ton of it i'm taking with me to lmu and it's still going strong like it's rocking those enzyme assays and Haley's rocking this ir she's she's doing great with a dbc aes she's my analytical gal <laughs> Little and, bit of GCMS in there as well. Yeah, GCMS, yeah. fabulous. Yeah. Yes. So I am really looking forward to over the summer. I'm gonna take a metabolomics course at Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory and learn much more about GCMS. And final words from the experimental side of the B Bell Lab for today. Awesome. We've That's done a it. great job. I'm proud of our work throughout the, the semesters that we've been in the Bell Lab and she's gonna do some great things in LMU. So yeah. thank you. You guys are gonna do some great things too. And so I hope that they will keep me updated over the years and I look forward to seeing all the great things that they do and I look forward to training the next generation of scientists at LMU. So would you recommend it? Oh yeah. 100%. 100%. It'll change your life. Seriously. No, no. So <laughs> I, I, I really, I think that we have a lot of fun and hopefully this showed you that we have a lot of fun and we get a lot of cool science done. And so speaking of cool science doing, let's finish up this cool science so that we can get somewhere cool so that we can do our data analysis in air conditioning. Huge, huge thanks to Haley, Nicholas, and all the people at St. Mary's for helping make this an enjoyable experience for them and for me.